Hey guys, welcome back to the TMP server. So as you can see, um, yeah, I, I basically ran out of uh, farm plots to uh, grow some mushrooms and I totally forgot that mushrooms, you don't need farm plots to grow them. You can grow them anywhere, right? So yeah, I, uh, I just basically put them in my house just for the time being, just to kind of basically get get started on growing them up. And uh, if we go over to the actual farm area over here, you can see that um, I've managed to complete a whole entire plot um, for corn only and these have all grown now so I can now go ahead and harvest this and then over on this side if I can get on this box uh, over on this side I've uh, already grown all the potato well not all the potatoes but as you can see I'm, I'm missing like a few uh, extra rows here for um, growing the potatoes but this is this is all already a lot of potatoes um, yeah but I've kind of run out of rotten flesh, um, so I need to kind of pad all this out over here uh, and over there. So that's the plan for today. So we've got a couple of things to do. Um, one, I want to get more rotten flesh, but also I actually want to start building my little uh, farm shop um, just because physics has already started like his little like, little um, shop over here with this vending machine and it's a bit of a more convenient spot if I actually built something over here um, so yeah so I'm gonna start building a shop over there but before we do that um, I figured we'll do more raw flesh hunting but before we can do that we need more ammo and we kind of ran out of ammo from horde night we actually spent I think I think it had like about 400 rounds on Horde Knight and I'm down to left with 10. So to get more ammo, I think the best way to go about it is basically do some more quests. So let's go ahead to the trader and do more quests. Right, here we are. Trader Jules. Let's see what he's got for us. Let's hope. Uh, so my my hope is that Hello, he gives us a quest and he'll actually give us the ammo as reward as well. So let's just have a look. Uh, he has a berry supply, which we don't really need, but maybe this fetch. Fetch and clear might be handy just because it'll give us uh, the loot at the end as well. So let's do that. Very easy. So that is in the next town, actually. Would you? Do you know what we could do? We could go to this one. If we get some ammo, we can head over to Bob's Boars, the one that we found in episode like three or something really early on and clear that out for all the rotten flesh. So let's uh, go ahead and go to that tier two fetch and clear. Hopefully we'll get some decent loot out of that and uh, hopefully get some more ammo. Well, would you look at that? Battle Rub 6, you can craft steel clubs. Do you know what? If I um if I give this to Kraken, he can go ahead and give us like a steel club, right? Just for uh just for a normal everyday use. I mean I'd love steel knuckle schematic. Oh nice. Um but yeah, if we can give it to him, then he can start making the clubs for everybody else. That's awesome. Nice find. All right, here we are. Got the quest here. Uh, no zombies about. Okay, we're free to do this. I actually don't remember this POI, uh, the layout of this POI. I don't remember doing it, but I don't remember the actual layout. So this should be interesting. Do you know what I want to do as well? All these leather couches. I think I want to take these apart as well, just because um, eventually when we build our like little cafe shop our little farmhouse i'd like some leather couches right and this is gonna help us you know get those leather couches in our own shop so let's grab all these obviously i won't let you guys watch every leather couch that i grab but um i'll grab these as we're going through okay we got some books so let's hope for something good here so we found Wasteland Treasurer, so we get more lead and brass from Sinks and Plumbing, that's quite nice. Uh, we already know the structural base. Another batter up book. This one, learn to craft the middle chain mod. That's quite handy. Uh, we'll use this one, the cooling mesh. And then Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete. Who is this by? Pistol Pete is agility, right? Yeah, so this will be for um, Primate, so we'll save that just for him as well. So we've got two for Kraken and one for Primate and then one to go in the vending machine. Great. We'll get rid of all the junkers there as well that we don't need. Awesome. Okay. Not a bad start. Let's keep going.
Hi, lady. Oh, knuckles. I can't wait to get my steel knuckles. <laughs> this is... That's new. I've never seen a working stiffs box here. Ah, oh, interesting. Let's hope we got something nice. Uh, we got some bellows. Oh, that's going to increase our smelting time considerably. That's really good. Nice, nice. Oh, here we come. Big fella. One down, nice. Punch him in the nuts! Easily done, nice. Okay, let's see if we have anything in here. Answer is no. No loot in here whatsoever. <laughs> Moving on! Hello, Zed. Yeah, there's usually one upstairs, right? Oh no, she's right there. And we're running out of stamina. It's alright, we'll just recoup a little bit. And continue the hammering. Nicely done. And my stash is up here somewhere? Question mark? Oh wait, it's behind here? Yeah, it's behind here, right? Nice, job done. Now we've got to clear the area. Ooh, I know this is only tier one, but a tier one is still better than my shovel right here. 18, yeah, 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 look at that. But the stamina cost is a little bit more significant. It's like three extra. So I'm going to use more stamina, but I'm going to do more damage at the same time. So this is great. We'll keep that. Um, and I don't think there's anything else left. But yeah, let me uh, let me clear my inventory and then we'll continue on. Let's see uh, what we got. It should, shouldn't be. Oh, I've got 10 ammo. Okay, that's good. A little bit of ammo. That's great. Okay, there's four Zeds in here. Can we create them all? He make no noise whatsoever. Right, that's one. One round here. Oh, it's a spider. I bloody hate spiders. They're the worst. That's that one. And then we just got one more in the next room, right? Let's just go clear that guy. Oh, it's a biker. Of course it's a biker. Oh, there's the stamina. Let's just back out a little bit. Just so we get that stamina back. And then we'll just use the left jabs here. Oh my god, he took so many punches. Great, let's see what loot we have. Oh, nice. Working stiff box. Okay, let's crack open these all. And then see what we got. All right, of all that, uh, we didn't get too much. I think we got like another 10 more ammo. We got some 9 mil and we got some more iron arrows as well. We did get some iron chests on, which we don't really want. And all these iron sledges will just scrap as well. Uh, we did find some forged steel and an anvil as well. And that's it. That's pretty much all the loot in here. It's kind of disappointing. Um, I was hoping a little bit more 762, but never mind. Let's go back to Joel and see. Well, let's hope he can give us some ammo for a reward. Hey guys, did you did you know if you exit that room, that story, and walk way around here, there's a secret room in here. Did you know that? I, I've i never known that. That's amazing. Oh, I do like these like secret things. And we've got some black strap. That's nice. Okay. Anything? This must be the hidden loot of the room then. Yeah, hidden stash. With nothing in it for me at all. Great. Other than a dead body. We'll take that. And nothing in here. And duct tape. We can make loads of duct tape. We don't have to worry about that at all. Right. Okay. All right. Never mind. Uh, let's actually go back to the trader now. Right, Joel. Please, please, please give me some ammo. Please, sir. Uh, I just need a stack of ammo. Oh, That'd be great. No great. robotic sledge or the iron helmet. I think we'll just get the iron helmet and sell it back to him. And then we'll just see other jobs as well. Uh, that's disappointing. Maybe the buried supply will give us one. It's the closest as well. I don't fancy going like a KOA. So let's just get this buried supply. Let's do that. Uh, since we have the new nice shovel as well. As well anyway. So um, I'm just going to go sell up a little bit. Uh, I'll dump some 
things into the chests as well. Uh, and then we'll go do that buried supply. I feel like this... Uh, going back to this trader box, not trader box, you know, this uh, community box is like a daily occurrence now. It's like, I go looting, come back, put stuff here, and then we we'll collect it at the end of the day. It's not a bad idea, let's be honest, because you guys don't want to see me like trudging through back to my house at like one miles per hour. You guys don't want to see that. But yeah, let's, uh, doing this is actually pretty efficient. And also, I don't need this many arrows either. I don't need the shotguns. And I also don't need the torch as well. Right. That should be enough space for a little while. Let's go do that buried supply. Wherever that is. That way. I'll tell you what. These streets are going to be so clean by the time I'm done with them. <laughs> I'm going to gather every single rotten flesh. <laughs> I need them. I need them. Here we are. Right. As ever. Let's... That's a doggo fighting a fatty, right? But where? Oh, there it is. If that zombie kills that dog, well, either way, it saves us a hassle, right? Let's just wait, see who wins. Doggo wins. Now I win. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, uh, it looks like it's already been dug here. Can I just... Is it in the same spot? Don't tell me this is the same spot. No. Alright. So, <laughs> very, very close. I guess I'll just dig in this direction right here. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too far in. <laughs> that's, that's convenient. Yeah, this, this steel shovel was a great upgrade. Saves me so much time. I wish I had it when I was actually digging my farm plots, though. <laughs> There we go, found it. Do we have space? I do have space, great. Let's grab this. Uh, oh, coffee recipe. We already know that though, rubbish. Um, I guess we can eat the rest of this food though. This is how we're sustaining ourselves, just by eating food, just canned food all the time. All right, that's that, let's get out of here. Let's kill all the Zeds, where are you? Oh no, it's Karen and her friend. Alright. Easy. Okay, what do we get? Canned food? <laughs> Not even just canned food, canned dog food and a little bit of cash. <laughs> Not worth. Alright, let's go back. <laughs> Okay, Joel, I got you supplies, and you give me completely nothing. Ah, rubbish. Okay, well, well, we tried. Um, I think what we'll do in is we'll just go over to that Bob's Balls over here and just get the rotten flesh. I do have a little bit of ammo. If we have Gracie, I'm not sure this is going to be enough. Hopefully be enough, and I'll try and be a little bit more sparingly in killing the pigs. Hopefully we can just one-shot the pigs with our bow and arrow but yeah obviously let's stop off the stuff and let's go to bobs and uh get some more wrong flesh because we need them here we are again i know you already seen us do bob's board the night before horde night but i really need everything in here like all around flesh all the super con so i'll blitz through this as quickly as possible so uh you guys don't have to sit through me grinding through this and um hopefully it will come out with a few hundred i mean at least a couple of hundred of run flesh for our farm plots holy moly all right this is gonna take longer than i thought <laughs> especially if i don't want to use ammo Maybe I can one-shot them with a hunting rifle? Okay, maybe not. Does a lot of damage though. Worth. Okay, checkpoint so far. We have uh, just over one and a half stacks of meat and 44 flesh. Alright, let's keep going. Any spiders. Made the worst sound as well. <laughs> like that, and it'll come round. That's it. 
Very nice. All the left. All the left. Nice. Okay, just a little checkpoint here. <laughs> We have three stacks of meat and 44 rotten flesh. I mean, we have plenty of meat now, but the rotten flesh is still lacking a little bit. All right, we'll, we'll, let's see how much we can get before uh, at the end of this run. Ooh, not bad at all. A level four AK. Oh, that's a steep upgrade. Holy moly. Let's get rid of that. Let's see here. So if I take this off, how much of a difference is that? 49 damage compared to 41 damage and we can actually we can put some more mods on this as well so two mods nice and if we get another one uh wherever the hell i just managed to put it if we get another one uh that's going to increase it by a couple of more points so that's 53 now that's that's incredible fine and also we got a little bit more ammo too that's, that's awesome nice one that was totally worth it coming into this little corner here i never knew I never knew this uh, little kind of secret area existed. I always just flew past it. Well, there you go. One. Nice. Okay, here it comes. Nice. Right enough foot. That's, that's got to be painful, right? Nice. Right, three points. What can we spend these points in? And uh, Fortitude perk, we were almost maxed out actually. Um, let's put a point into Professional Boxer. This will give us a uh, 30% chance to knock your opponent down and also 40% more damage. That's good. And we'll also do Machine Gunner here. Each shot scored well, it gives you four stamina. Great stuff. Okay, let's keep on looting then. I don't think there's any zombies in here, right? It's just all dead bodies. Great. Okay, well, uh, give me a minute. Let me uh, grab all these dead booties. And we'll see if Grace has spawned. Because last time, Grace didn't spawn. So we'll find out. Okay, so I managed to get from 10 rounds to about a, just over 100 here. Let's see if Grace is here. If she is, we're going to get some extra meat. Oh, she is here. Nice. And I've got a broken leg. All right. We'll deal with this. We're just going to offload. Oh, we deleted it. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I did not want to do that. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, well, let's just get all these rotten flesh and see what loots at the end. Oh, unbelievable. Does anybody else do that? Oh, Okay, so I've just finished looting all the boxes at the end here. Um, I did find myself a triple pocket mod, which is kind of nice. That's going to help us a little encumbrance a little bit more. Uh, we found a little bit more ammo, but other than that, it uh, didn't have too much. We do have an iron crossbow, though. That might be a better upgrade from our primitive bow here. Let's see, 26 damage, 200% sneak damage, but that the bow does the same, right? Yeah, the bow does exactly the same. So we actually do more damage with our primitive bow here. Um, so we'll just see if... Uh, actually, let's have a look. Yeah, this does 30 damage. So the iron cross... Uh, the, the bot bolts itself doesn't actually do that much. So we'll keep this uh, on here. Like that. Modify that. Modify that. Nice. All right. So nothing else to do. Uh, we managed to get... Pretty much three and a half stacks of meat. We got ourselves 72 rotten flesh. That's enough for uh, about 30 farm plots or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, this is... The loot hasn't been great. I'll be honest, the loot hasn't been great. But never mind. Let's get back to the trader. And uh, well, actually not the trader. Let's just go back home and drop everything off. Whilst I'm waiting for my leg to repair itself in a couple of seconds here, I was just looking at the crossbow again, and I was kind of doing the maths here. So I just took the mod off. So the primitive bow does 38 damage, and the iron cross, uh, the iron arrows actually do 58. So a total of 50, uh, 58 damage, right? Uh, and then the crossbow here does 38 damage, 
plus the iron crossbow which does 56 damage now i actually can't remember how uh like the damage were is it just additive do i just add these two together to give the total amount if that's the case then this crossbow actually does 64 and the bow um and arrow does 58 so this actually does more damage overall let's give it a try um just kind of going on and also i can actually add the polymer string right yeah i can add the polymer string this gives us an additional damage here so hopefully we can start one shotting zombies with our crossbow we'll see we'll see you will give it a test on our next one but yeah um my leg is fixed now i've got a lot of stuff to take back so what i'm gonna do is throughout the night um i'm basically well not throughout the night but i'm basically gonna travel all the way home with the stuff that i have come back again and then do it again right you guys don't want to see that so i'll be back when i've actually transferred everything over run one is down so i'm just ah, i don't want to do that um so yeah i've just managed to take the first lot back to the base now and whilst i'm harvesting lot i do remember giving some stuff to physics to make a bike uh and i he, he did mention that he also had some running shoes i'm wondering whether it's better if i actually just take a little detour to over physics's base if i get a bike or even running shoes that kind of facilitate me kind of shuffling things back and forth that's going to help me immensely so after i've done this let's head over to physics and see if he's actually got a bike for us uh i did give him this stuff before so yeah let's go over and check right crops harvested we got ourselves 130 odd corn and 113 potatoes yeah i think we can uh we can <laughs> i think we can feed the server now <laughs> Right, so uh, here's a cool story. I actually went all the way over to here and I totally forgot that Physics no longer has his vending machine over here. He's actually moved it to the community hub on this road uh, between the Horde base and the community hub. So I went all the way over here and there was nothing there. So I had to run all the way up back up here again <laughs> to check his vending machine. And now that I've got here, he doesn't even have a bicycle. I thought he'd have a bicycle chassis, uh, like schematic, but anyway, there's a at least there's a bicycle chassis schematic. I can get, grab that at least, and then also there's a workbench schematic as well. So I'm gonna grab that. Um, is there anything else that we need uh, from here? Art of mining? No, we don't need anything else. Shotgun, nerdy glasses. Nerdy glasses might be handy actually for just better XP in general. Um. I don't think... Oh, actually, there's also high-performance running shoes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's buy that. Uh, let's grab that. It gives us 20% extra regen. So if we use this... So now we can make our own workbench. We have our bicycle uh, shamasi, chassis schematic. And then we'll wear these as well. So now, if I run... This should... Yeah, our stamina regen is uh, kind of reduced a little bit. In fact, if I also take a drink here we should be able to maintain it for a longer stint than we what we could have when i get coffee that's that stamina should be permanently up actually so great right let's go back and do our second run for the loot good morning okay so uh, i managed to transfer everything over at the trader already and put them all in the box over uh in the house now um in the meantime throughout the night i have been a bit of a busy bunny so um all those trees behind me if you remember i've planted a load of trees at the back here i've chopped them all down now and i've managed to get a load of wood i've used that wood and i've made that into roughly 900 frames because we're going to go build the coffee shop or pixel plot i mean the basically where i'm going to sell my stuff right um and obviously i need some stack of wood to upgrade everything for that as well now um out of the farm plots uh sorry out of all the rust from flesh that we managed to get we managed to get 18 farm plots um that's not a lot but it is enough to cover this area right here just for now perfect right and then i had my potatoes right here bum bum 
just like that perfect so we have now a full crop of corn and we have a full crop of potatoes and then we just keep expanding for everything else i think the next thing i'm gonna do is mushrooms and then over here we're gonna have to do coffee and i haven't really decided yet. and then yeah i need to take all these trains away and put like proper fencing around them but anyway next thing on the task as well is i did say i was going to build my little kind of trade shop over at the community hub so we did manage to get all the frames and stuff um yeah and i made a bunch of nails as well and i got the leather because in my coffee shop i actually do want to put couches and things down and that requires nails and leather right so if we look at here couch yeah sectional couch leather nail wood and we got plenty of those so let's head on over and um let's just pick our plot where we're gonna put our coffee shop right here we are so we are right in the middle of our community hub and the road is right here maybe i should kind of line out the road on where it should be uh let's see here so physics's little kind of stall is right here right oh hello right so um and the road is right here maybe we should just line it up so it's just going to be a straight road up this way or maybe we can keep it going this way i like this idea better i like it if we just move this line continue it on all the way through here and in fact where the icon is is probably where my shop should be so what i'm gonna do is i'm just basically going to line this up right here and uh yeah and just basically line my coffee shop with the rose so let me go do that and just put a load of frames down so we can see where this line ends up right so i've lined it up now um it looks like it goes <laughs> i think i couldn't put the icon anywhere closer than i would actually be um it's bang on a dead center of this icon so i've just ba basically put a load of frames now as you can probably see there and i just need to pick a point where um where i want to put it and i think i think logically speaking if you was to be on your way from the trader right on the way down here you'd want the coffee shop to be directly next to town right like literally somewhere around here by the buildings right there so you can just walk down and have a brew yeah i think that makes sense okay so uh let me go ahead and line all this up uh and figure out how wide this is gonna be and i'll be right back i've kind of lined it out um to what i think it should look like i think i've actually done an odd number here oh wait and here we go like that all right so this is uh 17 by 11 i think something along those lines 17 by 11 i actually forgot how many frames i put down but anyway imagine this imagine this this is the shop front right uh this is the pavement and this is going to be the road right here right it's going to be like one two three four five now i guess it'll be like five blocks wide or something like that so imagine this is going to be the road okay this is the coffee house it's the front and we have the door here we have large windows typical of a coffee shop okay when you go in there's going to be like couches on the side tables and all that kind of stuff and then over here is where we're going to prepare our food stall so this is going to be i don't know like a counter for selling our cakes and stuff um and then we'll put like our vendor machine over here just so people can uh, actually buy stuff and then if you can imagine over this side we're gonna have an upstairs area well haven't really decided if I want an upstairs area. How I I, I kind of just feel like most coffee shops have an upstairs. But anyway, so we have upstairs like here, and then we we'll build another floor just in case we need to expand it. All right. So this is just the initial building uh, lined up. I'll f kind of just build the outline for now, and then we'll see how we go on from here. So I will be back once I've lined everything up. Right then, guys hope you're ready so i've managed to like get the basics down it's not quite fully finished yet the, for reasons being i haven't got the materials for it at this present moment in time but don't you worry we'll revisit this place once we get all like all the extras that i needed but welcome to pixels pots 
That's what I'm calling it, Pixels Pots. Welcome to my coffee house, right? Ah, oh, it kind of looks kind of cozy, right? They always have this like awkward table in the middle of like the floor where, you know, obstructs you from getting to the actual stairwell. So these are the stairs. Uh, it goes into two and then one because they always have those like narrow ass stairs for whatever reason. Like they couldn't, they couldn't add like an extra wide staircase for you to go up. Anyway, so I added the narrow staircase uh, leading up to the upstairs. Now, I have left the roof off just for the time being. Just because if I put the roof on and it's kind of sunny right now, you wouldn't be able to see all this. But yeah, there you go. Um, so in this area, um, we're going to kind of add some extra things in here. We're going to have like curved glass. Um, and over here, we'll have like the coffee machines in the back here just to make stuff. Uh, we'll do like a refrigerator as well. The uh, was it the uh, the beer cool not beer cooler, but the beer fridge. The the you know you know what I mean. The the one I'm talking about. And then over here, uh, I've done some like Minecraft tables. <laughs> if you guys know that play Minecraft, you'll like know exactly what I mean. It's a pole with a plate on top. That's exactly what I've done. So a pole and a plate on top, and then we have the leather couches as well. Um, I was debating whether to put benches down, but I thought leather couches would be comfortable. Um, and then we've got some other decors that I kind of want to put in here as well, like potted plants. Um. I also need to steal some chairs because I was trying to find out where I was going to make chairs. Um, but there's nowhere I can actually make chairs. I couldn't figure it out at all. And, and if somebody knows how to make just basically the like uh, kitchen dining room chairs, just let me know where to get them because I can't seem to find them. But if not, I can go steal some from a house or somewhere. So um, those are just going to be placed around here. And then over here is my vending machine. So. In here, I'm just gonna basically start putting all my like produce, so all the potatoes, all the corn. So it's a little bit centralized for everybody else to come. So you know, cause um, Laney's like way up here, right? Yeah, Laney's way up here. Uh, Kraken's here. Maybe not for Physic. Physic has to travel further. But <laughs> but everyone else, and oh yeah, and Primate as well, right here, right? But I think I think this looks pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. It looks quite quite nice, and then I'll put a roof on it. Uh, maybe I'll make it two stories high, uh, but I'll need a little bit more leather, a little bit more, more nails, and all that kind of stuff. But I think this is great. This is a good start, and um, yeah, this is the start of our community tub. This is awesome. So I hope you guys like this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do like this episode, please make sure you hit that subscribe and hit that like button as well for the YouTube algorithm. It really, really helps me out a lot. I think statistically, there's like 93% of you do not subscribe to the channel and I would really appreciate it if you guys just hit that sub button. It doesn't cost you anything and it's completely free and you can change your mind later as well. But anyway, that's enough for me rambling. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time, folks. Peace.